Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about your first drive after you pass your driving test. So you now pass your driving test and now you will be driving alone by yourself without any help from your driving instructor or from any friends or family. Let's start the lesson. So you've now passed your driving test and this will be your first day you are driving alone by yourself without any help from your driving instructor or from family members or friends. And I am sure you are a little nervous because if you weren't, you wouldn't be looking for this video. So I'm guessing and I'm assuming you are a little nervous to drive by yourself without any help. First of all, after you pass, you will be given a certificate pass certificate which means you've passed your driving test and you will be waiting for your license to come to your door question is can you drive before you receive your full driving license yes you can drive with your pass certificate so while you are waiting for your license to come you can drive because you've got the pass certificate but if the license doesn't come within three weeks make sure you call dvla to make sure that there is no problem of your license coming to your door so if you don't receive within three weeks, make sure you call DVLA to see what's happening with your license. Secondly, make sure you change your insurance to full driver insurance. So if you were insured with maybe with your family member, maybe as a named driver and you were insured in their car, or you probably had a car and you was insured as a learner, now you've passed. So you need to change your insurance to full driver license. So that's the first thing you need to do. Secondly, the car that you buy or the car that you drive, if it's your car, make sure the car is insured, MOT'd and taxed. These are the legal requirements. You must have your car insured, you must have MOT and make sure it is taxed before you drive the car. Then on your first drive, make sure you have somebody with you. Now I know you've passed and you don't need anybody sitting next to you, but all that time you've been learning, you've always had somebody sitting next to you, maybe your driving instructor, or maybe your family member, maybe your mom, your dad, your parents, your friend, your husband, your wife, somebody sitting next to you. All of a sudden, there's nobody there. So I would say maybe have somebody sit next to you who you feel comfortable with and they know how to drive the car, they are a full driver. Just sitting next to you, you will have that confidence. So my advice may be before you start to drive on your first drive, on your first day, have somebody sitting next to you to have that confidence. Know that there's somebody there sitting next to me. Next, the car that you are going to drive by yourself, make sure you get to know your car. Make sure you know all the controls and everything where things are because you don't want to start to drive and then you don't know how to clean the window or you don't know how to de-steam the window. OK, so get to know your car, get to know, make sure that where the signal, which way you need to signal. Maybe it was on this side. Now it's on this side. You know how to put the wiper on, how to clean the windows, how to open the windows. So get to know your car. Also, the controls. You've been driving another car. Maybe this car, the clutch is a bit different. Maybe it's a bit up and maybe you don't have to lift it as much as you did with your learner's car. So get to know your control, especially the clutch if you're driving a manual car. So spend a few minutes, get to knowing your car where things are. This will give you the confidence when you're driving by yourself, knowing that I know my car, I know where things are. If something I need is already there. Also, how to put the lights on. If it gets dark, how do you put the lights on? You don't want to start fiddling. If you're driving maybe just before the sunset and now it's getting dark and you don't know how to put the lights on. So basically, in total, get to know your car, spend a few minutes just knowing your car. Next, consider a P plate. Now you've been driving, you've been learning and you had two L plates, one at the front, one at the back, telling people that you are a learner for them to be patient. Now that you passed and if you feel that you are a bit nervous driving by yourself and you need some help from others, consider a P plate. Now you don't have to have a P plate, but I'm saying if you are a little nervous and if you feel you need little extra time from others, for them to be a little patient on you, put the P plates on, one at the front, one at the back, telling others that I've just passed and I need a little help from you for you to be patient, please. That's what you're saying. By law, you don't have to. When you're learning, you have to have the L plates on by law, but P plates, you don't have to. It just, if you think that you need that extra help from others for them to be a little patient, I would say put P plates, 
one at the front, one at the back, just telling others that I've just passed. Please help me if I'm a little slow doing things on the road. So consider a P plate. Now on your first day, on your first drive, I would choose a time which is off peak. So maybe not a rush hour when you feel the road is empty and it's not too many cars on the road. So choose a off peak time so that even though you're not alone on the road, the road is not as busy as it can be if it's on peak time. So choose a time which is off peak. This will help you with less cars on the road and keep it simple okay try not to go on heavy road or busy road if i were you i would drive somewhere where really quiet just go around the circle a few minutes even 10 15 20 minutes just to get used to it maybe choose an area where the roads are very quiet only few cars passing by and you were just going around the circle just going the circle getting used to it, driving by yourself, knowing that I could cope without anybody helping me. Remember, all of a sudden, there's nobody there. That's going to hit you. And you want to make sure that you have that confidence of knowing I could do it myself. And the only way you'll know is by doing by yourself. And you do want to go to somewhere where it's busy and you do want to go somewhere where it's complex. You want to go somewhere very simple very quiet road and just go around for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Even if it's for an hour, just go around the block. So keep driving and stop somewhere safe on the left and then move off and then stop again and then move off and then stop again. That will give you the confidence knowing that I could do things by myself. Remember, just because you passed, it doesn't mean you're a good driver. It just means that you've proved to the examiner that you can drive safely by yourself. But it doesn't mean you're a good driver. You'll only become a good driver when you start to drive by yourself and you've been driving for a while because then you learn things by yourself, doing things by yourself. So always remember, you're not a good driver yet, but you are good enough to drive by yourself. That's why you proved to the examiner, okay? So keep it simple and go around the block in a simple road and I would just drive, stop, drive, stop, drive, stop. Do that many times until you get used to it, knowing you could do it by yourself. Also, have the confidence knowing that my instructor knew I was ready and the examiner thought I was safe, so he gave me a license. So know that, make you sure remind yourself that I've passed my test and I've proved to the examiner that I can't drive by myself without any help. If you remind that, that will give you the confidence. It will give you that boost knowing that I can't do it myself because I proved it to someone. It's all about confidence when you're driving by yourself. Many people, they don't have that confidence. They feel nervous. But you need to remind yourself that you are good enough to drive by yourself because you've just passed your test. You didn't just buy a license, did you? You went to the test and the examiner gave you a license because he or she knows that you are safe, you are capable of driving by yourself without any help. Remind that. When you remind, it will help you to give you that confidence, give you that boost knowing I can do it myself. And like I said, it's all about confidence. Believe that you can, only then you can by yourself. Now at this point, if you still feel nervous and you feel that you need that extra help from someone, then if I were you, I would give my driving instructor a call and just maybe have a refresher lesson, maybe one or two lessons with the driving instructor. Now that you passed, you could have a lesson with the driving instructor just as a refresher so that he or she comes sit next to you and you just drive. So if you think you are still nervous, you don't feel comfortable, then if I were you, I would give my driving instructor a call and just to have one or two refresher lessons, this will give you that confidence. Hopefully, after the lessons, you will feel okay to drive by yourself. So give your driving instructor a call if you feel still nervous driving by yourself without any help. Now, after you pass, if you are planning not to get a car straight away and you're gonna have a gap, then my advice to you would be get yourself insured with your family members or friend as a named driver with their car and every now and again drive in their car just to keep you running so that you don't forget everything. Because if you have a big gap, all of a sudden you might forget some of the things. Not that you're going to forget everything, but if you do have that gap and you're not insured as a named driver with anyone and you had a big gap, so then only go back to drive by yourself. If I were you, I highly recommend for you to have some refresher lessons with the driving instructor or with any driving instructor just to make sure that you are okay and you feel comfortable. Anyway, that's it for this video and I hope it helps. 
and I truly wish you all the best on the road and I hope you stay safe on the road. If you like the video, please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.